What's up, y'all? So, uh, my daddy asked me this morning to go and get estimates to see how much this uh damage on my mama's on my mama's uh bumper would cost uh go to accident report. Try not to show too much. But uh yeah, let me show y'all the damage. And we gonna head we're gonna head over to the uh three different stops. One's gonna be a Chevy dealership and the other two are gonna be body shops. So we just gonna see what the estimates are. Uh, I'm gonna put y'all in a hyperlapse till I get to where I'm going and then I'm gonna cut y'all back on. All right. To this place, I don't. <laughs> I seen a for sale sign out in the <laughs> out in the yard, so I don't know what they got going on here. But we gonna check here first. Uh, I didn't even really look at the name. There's not that many body shops uh, in my town, so we gonna see what they say though. I guess they still open. They still got cars out here. But uh, let's go see what they say. Hey. Hey, All right. Uh, I just want to see if I can get a rough guesstimate or a quote on how much some damage on this vehicle would cause. What do you got here? That's the police report. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, you need an insurance estimate? Oh, uh, yes, sir. Okay. We gonna use their insurance or the our neighbor backed into us. <laughs> yes, sir. And this bumper done been backed into. This is gonna be the third time. We just want to get it replaced and yeah. see how much it costs to get it fixed. I'm afraid the insurance company won't want to replace. It. Yes, sir. They just want to fix. Fix it up, patch it up. Yeah. It's yes. Not real. Thing, yes, sir. That's all damage? Yes, sir. Right. Don't drive it much. And when my mama decided to drive it, it got backed into. Well, <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Okay. Okay.
fault line goes on this? Oh. West? Yes, sir. In that address. Oh. Sorry. Yes, sir. And a phone number. Uh, All right. Okay. Usually, if it's not tore or nothing, they don't want to replace now, it. No, they won't want to replace it unless it's tore. Yes, sir. Okay, that's all you need from me, sir? Yep, that's okay. it. Okay, all right, thank you. No, hang on just a minute. I'll okay. write this out for you. Okay. Turn it Okay. Okay. I seen the for sale sign of y'all. Y'all looking to downsize or get out the business? I just retire. Okay, yes, sir. Going? Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yep, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to vacuum my mama's car out, y'all. I done got it dirty in the inside. <laughs> See what it say here. This is Strickland Frame and Body Shop. Three hours of 
Let's see, real bumper. I'm guessing it's saying it's about three hours worth of labor. No, it's more than that. Let's see. It says it's only roughly about 400 and... $64.96 worth of damage. Body labor, three hours at $50 an hour. Paint labor, 4.2 hours at $50 an hour. Paint and supplies, 4.2 hours at $40 an hour. Body labor cost is $150, part labor cost is $210, paint supplies is $168, subtotal $528, and with tax, came out to $564.96. Well, we on to the next stop. Let me put y'all in, uh, in a hyperlapse. I get back. All right, y'all. even talking y'all i had it in a hyperlapse still but i ran in here they told me to check back at 10 15 i mean 11 15 is 10 45 right now so what that's about 30 minutes i'm gonna run over here to the chevy dealership and see what they say and then i'm gonna come on back over here oh uh, this is larry king's i i was talking earlier but obviously i wasn't saying nothing because it was in a hyperlapse <laughs> but uh what i was saying is it's larry king's body shop uh my first car i had had to get some work done over here because uh i explained the story uh i was getting out of school and i pulled out in the road so there's like two exits that you can exit out from our school in the front and I came out the first exit, and when I got down to the second exit, I slowed down. Well, I stopped so I could let other cars come out, which you're really not supposed to do that, but in me doing that, my friend was in behind me, so he was kind of following me. I don't know where we was going. Might have been a Friday or something. I'm thinking this was a Friday. But, uh... My friend was in behind me, so he had to stop. And then I guess the car that came up in behind him didn't notice he had stopped. And that car ended up running in the back of him, and he ended up running in the back of me. <laughs> this was a long time ago. This was my first car. Excuse me. And got the body work done at uh, Larry Davis. <laughs> but uh yeah i'm gonna put y'all in a hyperlapse it's not gonna be long i'm probably about 10 minutes away from the place not even that long but i'm gonna come back to y'all all right but 
y'all. So I'm trying to think which part I would go to. The dealership is up front. And I know this is the car wash part, I believe. Not for sure. I'm going to go on up to the front of the dealership and see what they say. If I can get in here. <laughs> this dealership doesn't stay full with cars. I ain't had a shortage on no car. <laughs> Let's see the park over. The parking spot. All the parking spots took. It looked like no parking. Keep drawing. y'all let me run in here and see what they say hopefully my audio don't cut out <laughs> all right y'all If I could get some estimate on some body damage on my car. Y'all don't have a body shop? All right, thank you. All right. All right. Well. I don't got a body shop. <laughs> what time is it? 10.51. Let me call my daddy, y'all. This person cannot Let me see if I can get a hold of my daddy. I probably won't be able to get a hold of him. He at work right now. I'm sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please try your call again later. Goodbye. I don't think I'm better to get hold of my daddy. I'm supposed to be going to eat with my auntie, and I need to take a quick look at my four wheeler. I mean, not my—I could be getting my four wheeler and motorcycle mixed up on my uh motorcycle. See what's going on with it. But uh, I'm gonna put y'all back in a hyperlapse. It won't be a long ride uh, back to where I'm going. They blocking the entrance. That ain't good. All right, y'all. I'll be back.
I'm back over here at Larry King's. Mm. It's 1058. They told me to check back at 1115, but I could have swore when I left. <laughs> uh larry king i believe that's him he he was over here i seen him when I, I i can't remember what he looked like but i could have sworn that was <laughs> him hey Darrell. hey brandon king my phone died uh i called him i can't get a hold of him king he at work and i think at work uh, he usually cut his phone off. Okay. Uh, but he told me to call him around about lunchtime because I think he, because uh, me checking his stuff, he wanted me to call and talk to him. So that that should be around twelve something, King. I think. Okay. Well, she in the middle of the road, man. Yeah. Um, I, we got we gotta get her out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, I'm gonna see if I can find the map. Okay. Uh, okay then. It, uh, if y'all haven't figured nothing out by then, I'm trying to think. I'm going to call him again and see if he answered the phone, but I don't think he going to answer it. Okay. Do, and you got both of them hooked up, or you just got that one? Uh, that one? Well, the other one, the other one full of junk on it. Yeah. Yep. The one, the uh car hauler is hooked up to his uh big truck. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Let me let me call him again. Okay. All right. I don't think he gonna answer y'all. He at work. He usually cut his phone off. Let me see. I'm sorry, the person you were trying you to reach answer. has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please try your call again later. Goodbye. Mm. My cousin girlfriend called and broke down. He said it's in the middle of the street. That's a clean Cherokee, y'all. Let's see if I can swivel around. I suck a clean. I don't know if the camera caught it. I suck a clean, though. <laughs> But, uh, I guess I'll sit here and wait a few minutes. Told me to check back at 11.15. A lot of these places, they act like they don't want no business. <laughs> but a lot of these places have been there, made their money, and like at the first place, they look, they really, around this time, a lot of my older guys, I guess you don't got too many younger guys in, in this type of work, and they looking to retire, so... A lot of these places been done made their money. They got old money. <laughs> and they just really, I guess they're not just taking. Or they, they just not, I wouldn't say they're not eager to take every job that comes their way, but I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> it's not weird. It's just the way things go. I don't know. But at all these places, I guess the main person you talking to is the person that's really handling all the business. And the guy that I talked to when I went in, I don't, he kind of looked confused when I was talking to him. <laughs> I don't know y'all. 11.02. Hmm. I don't want to just have y'all sitting. I ain't going to be talking about nothing. <laughs> mm, guess I'll put y'all on a hyperlapse. Let y'all watch the cars with me. See if anything interesting come through. <laughs> All right, y'all.
wasn't much of nothing going on, y'all. I'm going to conclude this video, though, y'all. Uh, y'all stay tuned for part two. I appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching. All right.